Good morning. It's about 10.51 a.m. and I forgot to post a video yesterday about how my um, my meeting went, uh, my mandatory class for a VSG surgery. Um, I'm having my first, I'm breaking my fast right now at 10.51 a.m. since I do intermittent fasting with the low-carb keto lifestyle. Um, I just went to Starbucks and ordered a venti blonde, um, blonde roast. I had six to eight pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup. I had had them add Kerrygold butter to the uh, coffee and heavy whipping cream. That's like one of the things that I kind of order when I go to Starbucks. Um, I switched over from the Americano because the Americano has carbs in it. And one of my friends off of Instagram mentioned that this is one of the ones that she gets. So she's starting to try since it doesn't have any carbs in it. So besides the calories from the butter and the heavy cream, this is a perfect low carb uh, coffee from Starbucks. Um, so how my meeting went yesterday? Well, it started at 1 o'clock. I arrived like two minutes before the time I had to be there. Um, and uh, it was very, it was a small class. I was anticipating it being a bigger class, but there was only like seven of us in there. And one of the seven was actually going for the R and Y and everybody else was there for the sleeve. The first person that we met um, he was one of the nurses and the coordinators, the surgical coordinators for the hospital um, that uh, is at their hospital with you. And, you know, he went over a lot of the pre-op procedures and he went over, you know, the day of the hospital. He went over um, the differences in the surgeries. He went over and explained um, about acid reflux and heartburn and you know how that happens and some some of the complications that could happen to why you would need a revision or if your stomach is too you know if you can't you know get any food down or anything like that he went into a lot of detail um then we had a break um then uh the dietitian nutritionist came in and spoke with us and um she talked about more about the pre-op diet and what made it kind of good that you know she spoke with us not just you know for the educational aspect of it she she herself also previously had um gastric bypass surgery she had her surgery back in 2000 back before they were doing it ever laparoscopically so she has a incision from her um her breastbone all the way down to her pelvic area and um her heaviest weight was 400 pounds and now you know she's at a maintainable weight she looks really good so you know it was nice to know that you know she's not just telling us nutrition wise and don't know you know what's to what's to be expected from having bariatric surgery so we spoke with her um she also handed out um samples and coupons for um multivitamins that you know they suggest that you you know for her for my physician that what they, he suggests and um so I had one of the chewable samples there and it was tart chalky but manageable as long as you chase it with a bottle of water <laughs> um so pretty much um she says for the gastric bypass patients you would need that plus some other vitamins but for their requirements for the VSG surgery you would need that multivitamin it's just one a day multivitamin and um tums for additional calcium and that's pretty much all the vitamins that you would need so i found that very good because i don't like taking vitamins i told her i had a problem with vitamins you know they just make me feel hungrier and whatnot so just taking that one a day you know it's kind of manageable and tolerable so that's what i'll be doing with that and um, after, you know, we had a chit chat with her, the psychiatrist um, came in there and he spoke with us as well. Um, you know, just to let us know that we need to prepare ourselves now mentally before we decide, you know, to have surgery itself. But um, I'll get more into that in just a minute. I'm here at the dealership where I brought my car at. I have to make a payment. Um, towards my deposit they're working with me with that so that's how I was able to get a car but I'll be right back in just a second so 
that was a quick payment. Um, he initially wanted $2,500 for a deposit. And um, he, you know, worked out, you know, something with me based off my credit. I won't go into too much detail about that. But we were making payments on a deposit. And I was able to leave with a brand new 2016 Scion IA without needing a cosigner. I went to a used car dealership prior and they told me, uh-uh, you know, not even with the $1,500 that I had would they let me drive off with a car. So I went to Lynch Toyota in Auburn and got me a brand new car. So poo on you gills. Anyway, um, so the psychiatrist, you know, psychiatrist, psychologist, I know I'm going to have to see him later in this journey. Um, but we pretty much, you know, discussed like how you need to um, be in the right frame of mind now, you know, prior to surgery because it's going to be a mental battle more so than just a physical battle and how the surgery is just a tool but it takes nutrition, exercise, and stress management to pretty much handle, you know, the surgery to complete the pie. He gave us a, a paperwork with some pie chart information and things like that and how you need endurance, you know, and things like that. You know, I'll go into more detail about that in another video and I'll actually show you what they handed us and stuff like that. But, excuse me, pretty much... Um, it was a nice four to five hour class. It let out a little bit earlier, about five o'clock. Um, it was from one to five and it actually let out on time. So yeah, um, the next thing that I have to do um, is make an appointment to have the one-on-one -on -one consultation with the dietitian nutritionist. And I have my appointment set up for April 10th with my primary care physician for the second month of monitoring consecutively um, for my weight and um, go ahead and uh, like I said I don't know how much weight he's expecting me to lose but um, that was my alarm I don't know how much for my fast to break my fast um, I set it for 16 hours Anyway, um, he never told me how much weight he expects me to lose. He just told me to stick to my 1,200 calorie diet, which um, I haven't been up until like about maybe this week, um, you know, with my cycle, my, you know, I won't say food funerals, but I just haven't been sticking 100% to it. But I have now, and I've actually lost some weight. Um, he weighed me in last month at 292. And I weighed in this morning at 288.4. So, figure if I can lose, you know, you know, stick with doing low carb and keto, my intermittent fasting, you know, being the, the main staple, you know, besides watching my carbs, stick to that, and I can go ahead and um, lose at least 10 pounds by the 10th in total, you know, at least drop down to 282 to where it's showing that I'm doing something because I'm scared that if I lose too much weight right now preoperatively on my own I'm not going to get approved because he's going to probably look at it like hey if you can lose this weight on your own why would you need surgery and not give me my approval or my recommendation letter for the surgery so I got a whole bunch of weird things going on in my head right now so it's kind of creepy anyway um I'm heading um now from after paying the deposit on my car I'm heading now to uh, the pawn shop pay that because I remember I never told you guys but um, I had some issues to where I had to pawn my ring and um, pawn my husband one of my husband's video games in order to take care of some bills that were lingering um, so we're making payments on that Anyway, I won't bore you guys with too much more babbling and whatnot. So, just wanted to let you guys know that I did have my um, my mandatory uh, class. The next thing I have to do is have the one-on-one -on -one with the nutritionist, have the psych valve, um, do an EVG, 
and a cardiac clearance and finish off one more month of consecutive visitations with my doctor. So then we'll have to start saving up for um, the uh, co-payment as far as for the hospital stay, which my physician said, the, the nurse said that usually um, your hospital stay is 1.7 days, which is like a day and a half. You're not even there a whole full two days unless you have any type of complications. So that's something good to look forward to. So, all right, guys, I will check in with you later. I hope you have a very good Friday. And if you're in your, if there's a Home Depot in your area, please stop by because they are having their spring Black Friday sales going on this weekend. Take care, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.